MCB for U1, Chapter 2, Derivatives, Session 11. In this session, we are going to work on the derivative of composite functions. As you know, if f and g are two functions, composite function is denoted by f o g, and it is defined as f of g of x equals f at g of x. In first example, f of x is given as root x, g of x is given as root x plus 5, and we are looking for f of g of 4. g of 4 is 9, f of g of 4 is f of 9, which is 3. g of f of 4. f of 4 is square root of 4, which is 2, and g of 2 is 7 f at g of x. In function f, we replace x by g of x, which is x plus 5, and we have a square root of x plus 5. And last part, g of f of x. In function g, instead of x, we put square root of x, and we have square root of x plus 5. In this section, we want to find a formula for finding derivative of f of g of x. It's called chain rule. If f and g are functions that have derivatives, then the composite function h of x equals f of g of x has derivative, and it is h prime of x equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. We say derivative of f with respect to g of x and derivative of g with respect to x. Uh, sometimes f is referred as outer function and g is inner function. The derivative of composite function is the product of the derivative of outer function evaluated at inner function and the derivative of inner function. Inner function is g. Uh, to prove this, we know derivative of f of g of x is limit of f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by h as h approaches 0. Assuming g of x plus h minus g of x is not 0, we times and divide the fraction by g of x plus h minus g of x. We split the limits, knowing the first limit is derivative of f at g of x and the second one is g prime of x gives us the result derivative of f of g of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Let's find the derivative of h of x equals x2 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. If we assume f of x equals x to the power of 3 over 2 and g of x equals x2 plus x. Chain rule gives us the derivative of this function. Derivative of f of x is 3 over 2, x to the power of negative 1 over 2. Derivative of ax n when n is a real number, the real number is a n x to the power of n minus 1. And derivative of g of x is 2x plus 1. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 2. Derivative of f at g of x times g prime of x. If we use Leibniz notation, the chain rule can be written as d by dx equals d by du times du dx. Y is a function of u, u is a function of x. F is a function of g, and g is a function of x. We are looking for the derivative of y with respect to x. This derivative exists if dy du and du dx both exist. Let's assume u is uh, y is u3 minus 2u plus 1, and u equals 2 root x. We are looking for dy dx at x equals 4. 
when x is 4, u is also 4. dy dx equals dy du times du dx. y is a function of u. Derivative of y with respect to u is 3u2 minus 2u. And derivative of u with respect to x is 1 over root x. We multiply these two, we have dy dx. Instead of x, we put 4. Correspond to 4, u is also 4. And we find the final answer. Next question. An environment study of a certain suburban community suggests that the average daily level of carbon monoxide in the air can be modeled by function Cp equals square root of 0.5 P2 plus 17. As you see here, C is a function of P. P is the independent variable. Where Cp is part per million and population P is expressed uh, in thousands. It is estimated T years from now the population of the community will be Pt equals 3.1 plus 0.1 T2,000. At what rate will the carbon monoxide level be changing with respect to time three years from now? We are looking for rate of change of carbon monoxide with respect to time when T is three. C is a function of P, P is a function of T, therefore DC DT equals DC DP times DP dt chain rule. We find derivative of c with respect to p. The derivative would be 1 over 2, the exponent of 0.5 p2 plus 17 is 1 over 2, times 0.5 plus p2 plus 17 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1, negative 1 over 2, times derivative of this expression which is P. dp dt is 0.2 times t. dp dt is here and dc dt is written here. We are looking for dc dt when t is 3. When t is 3, p is 4. By plugging the numbers, we can find dc dt at t equals 3, which is Point twenty four. The unit is parts per million per year. We know derivative of x to the power of n is n x to the power of n minus one. Derivative of u to the power of n would be n u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. u prime is du dx. This is called power of function rule, extension to power rule. Derivative of a u to the power of n when u is a function of x is n a u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. Let's find the derivative of h of x equals x2 plus 3 to the power of 4 times 4x minus 5 to the power of 3. As you know, this is a product rule. Derivative of x2 plus 3 to the power of 4 is 4 times x2 plus 3 to the power of 3 times 2x. Derivative of 4x minus 5 to the power of 3 is 3 times 4x minus 5 to the power of 2 times 4. If we apply the product rule, we find the derivative of first function times it by second function plus derivative of second function times the first one. And by factoring we find the final answer. Next example is derivative of 1 plus x2 over 1 minus x2 to the power of 10. Derivative of g of x is 10 times 1 plus x2 over 1 minus x2 to the power of 9 times derivative of the expression in the bracket.
u prime. To find derivative of this function, we use quotient rule, derivative of numerator times the denominator itself, minus derivative of denominator times numerator itself over denominator to the power of 2. In this lesson, we learned how to use the quotient rule. Derivative of f of g of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Or derivative of y with respect to x is derivative of y with respect to u times derivative of u2 with respect to x. If you have y is a function of u, u is a function of x, and x as a function of t, then this can be written as dy dt equals dy du times du dx times dx dt, chain rule. y with respect to u, u with respect to x, and x with respect to t. Extension to power rule, power of a function, derivative of g of x to the power of n is n g of x to the power of n minus 1 times g prime of x. We can use the words and say the exponent, the derivative would be the exponent, times the same bracket to the power of 1 less than the exponent, multiplied by the derivative of the function inside bracket. Next session, we are going to work on question number 6. Uh, question number five, let's say part E, question number six, question number seven, question number 13, part A and C, question number 15, and question number 19. Thanks for watching.